Amay Bell, curator of the South African Pavilion entitled Into the Light, introduces the exhibition, and we talk to participating artists from Lani and Tuli, Lebohan Kaganye, and Roger Ballen. The theme for the South African Pavilion is Into the Light, and we've developed it as a sub theme to the overall theme, uh, really related to how fantasy and reality are merged together and explored as a dualism. For the exhibition design, we wanted to create a maze-like structure through which viewers could navigate through the various personal narratives of the artists. Each of them have their own rooms um, through which the viewer can immerse themselves in that particular body of work. With Bumlani and Tuli's work, um, we have presented the Godide, which is really um, dealing with the geographical landscape, markers of place, markers of identity, figures that were previously omitted from, from colonial landscapes and so forth. Um, and then from there moving more to more intimate spaces of Lebohang and Roger Ballen. With For Lebohang's room we wanted to create a soft intimate space uh, recreating her grandmother's house and where she shot the body of work Black to Fairy Tales. So it's kind of like being in her grandmother's house um, when you're in the middle of the pavilion and then from there you go further into Roger Ballen section which is completely dark um, as we kind of push the viewer to go, go into the psyche um, of the artist's imagination and where dreams to explore where dreams come from and where our hopes and aspirations come from and how we project ourselves outwards with all these things going on inside of us. Hi, my name is Chimlani Tuli. I am a visual artist based in Johannesburg. Uh, we are at the Venice Biennale, 59 Venice Biennale at the South African Pavilion, uh, Into the Light. So the works that I'm presenting for the Biennale, it's, uh, two, it's a four-channel uh, video installation uh, with uh, four collages with an augmented reality app. So the works that you see for the show, uh, it's from uh, ongoing research uh, titled Navigation Guide to Kwangu Neche. So the works are a series of reflections around the fictionalization of landscape, looking at uh, 18th century travel painters in South Africa. Uh, with that, I've juxtaposed with images um, that I've acquired from the Alfred Dogen Cronin uh, Museum in Kimberley, uh, where I'm interested in the broader idea of uh, the reflection around animating uh, history. And so it's a process of collage, stop motion films. And then the other four series of works, they from uh, an application called which is an ongoing project. Uh, of course, I explore a fictional character um, titled um, by the name of Kodite, uh, taken from Patras Kodite, who was the son of Ugunyani, um, previously during the, the Gaza Empire, which is currently Mozambique. So after the Portuguese uh, troops uh, invaded Mozambique, they were sent to uh, Lisbon in the Azores Islands. So this figure could did the kind of travels and travels through time to understand certain events that, that have unfolded. So we see him uh, traveling within the fictionalized landscapes. We see him uh, traveling by sea. Uh, so of course, then it's more reflections around uh, different moments that has happened in history in relation to, to current moments that we're dealing with uh, within the pandemic itself. The work that I'm presenting at the Venice Biennale um, as one of the artists at the South African Pavilion is entitled Black to Fairy Tales. And the work is an older body of work of mine, which was basically looking at Western literature, specifically Western fairy tales, um, and how they migrate to other contexts such as um, South Africa, um, in the education context specifically. And to a large degree, my practice is always centered around memory um, and fantasy and the play and the sort of relationship um, that um, memory and fantasy have or the proximity. Um, and so for me, this idea of these imaginary worlds um, that, I, that I then sort of recreate is how it links to the overall theme um, of the, the Biennale. Because to a large degree, I mean, it is my memories, but a lot of it is also my, my imagination, how I now recall these memories. Uh, so I basically contrast you know, African literature and the Grimm brothers, uh, the sort of original stories behind um, these Western fairy tales and Disney's versions of the fairy tales. So one of the works in the exhibition is of me as a sunflower because that year when we were actually going to audition to be Snow White, um, I was made a sunflower. So, 
So it's those sorts of memories that I then, um, that help me produce, produce the work and that I reference for this exhibition. I started this project, the Theatre of Apparitions, in 2005 when I was in a woman's prison in Boxburg, South Africa. On the windows in the cell uh, was dark soot and the prisoners in the cell had taken a sharp object and drawn on the dark window. And so step by step over the next eight or nine years, I developed this series, The Theater of Apparitions. I used different materials from paints, epoxies, glues, and other materials to make these images. They were all taken on windows in this warehouse. This uh, series is about ghosts, it's about apparitions, it's about uh, spirits. And the photograph angel, um, which is high up on the ceiling here, represents what most people think of as a ghost of spirit. They're in the sky, they're above us, they're angels or whatever. But uh, this particular photograph angel has some, uh, really fits the meaning of, of the series. It, it really can be seen as a ghost, an angel, or uh, something uh, from the afterlife. Uh, the second uh, picture that I want to talk about is Divide Itself. This is on my business card and it's a very, very important image. I normally finish many of my lectures with this uh, image and on one side you see the face that everybody sees. It's what you see when you see another person. On the other side of the picture is like the dark mind, the subconscious mind, the primal mind that I think in so many ways uh, rules humanity, rules herself and makes it uh, so difficult to change the course of events. Because when I was growing up as a child, um, fairy tales was somehow part of the school curriculum and we would reenact these fairy tales by um, participating in plays every year. This is when I was in primary school um, and every year we'd audition to be Snow White, Cinderella, um, Goldilocks um, and you know and every, every year me and my friends would um, audition and prepare for the parts and we'd never get the parts. Um,